made it to camp. Decided this is gonna be the ticket. I'm grabbing this stuff. So, time to help unload and unpack. All right, well we got camp all set up. We got the two Seek Outside Cimarrons ready to rock and roll. We did bring both of the uh, stoves. We just haven't set them up yet. The weather's been super warm, so next couple days weather might be getting a little bit worse, but we've been dropped off, shown kind of the area, so we're gonna go to a glassing knob now, take a look at that. Hunter may break off away from us. Uh, go glass another area in a little bit but we'll see uh, yeah just go try to get a lay of the land Country. Just haven't seen a whole lot of deer yet. You'd think we should see something soon looking at this. He's a little smaller than I want to shoot. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, day two, and uh, found this nice log right here. And uh, I'm just going to glass these hillsides here for this afternoon. See if I can pick something up. I'll probably be here for, I don't know, three or four hours, and then uh, probably start to head back because I'm about a three hour hike from camp. So, all right, let's see what we can find. Well guys, it's 105. I just picked up a buck on the hill over here and uh, I'll put the camera on the bipod here and show you. I can't tell how big he is from here, so I'm gonna pack up and head that way. See if I can get a better eye on him.
disappointed, but it's still cool seeing him. And, uh, yeah, if he was a big buck, I could have got the shot, so. Anyways, there's still enough light. I think I can get back before dark. It's quarter after four right now, and it gets dark at, like, quarter to eight, so. Looks like we got us a porcupine. Good afternoon, everyone. I know I didn't turn it on this morning, I apologize. Uh, Dad and I came back up through the pass uh, to where Hunter was sitting last night, but got chased out due to that thunderstorm. Uh, been looking in this basin and down there, um, but we're gonna head out that direction, so Dad's making his way towards the trail. And uh, we'll follow him. Sounds like Hunter went north of camp. Uh, and we got an in-reach message from him saying he saw five bucks and four does, which is awesome because we've been here well, basically two and a half days, two, two and a half days. This is our third day in here. And we have yet to see a deer. So at least Hunter saw something. So, we're making a move. I'm gonna check out some country a little further away from camp. So. Well, just saw the first deer. Unfortunately, its head was behind the tree and it walked into the tree, so I never did get to see if it was a buck or a doe. So I guess we'll keep a close eye on that area. We're gonna start our trek back to camp. The deer we saw ended up being a spike, a two by one, and a two by two. Had them all up, they're still nowhere near what we're looking for. So, we saw a four by four bull, a cow and a calf, and I believe either another bull or the four by four. Again, a ways away. So, at least we saw animals. It's been on day three now, and we hadn't seen anything until this afternoon. So, step in the right direction, I guess. But we got a bit of a trek back to camp. So, we're gonna kind of glass our way camp. <laughs> See if we can't stir something up. But seriously, how beautiful is that? Gorgeous country. Alright guys, well, you can't see me, but we just had some excitement. Uh, it is Obviously too dark to shoot now. Um, and we were rushed for time so I didn't grab the camera. But we saw a real nice, at least three by four, deep forked, but he wasn't past his ears wide. 
He wasn't overly heavy, but he had really deep forks. So we tried to move in a little closer, but he vanished by the time we got to a closer spot. So now we're hiking back to camp. Well, good morning, guys. It is Tuesday. It is halfway through the second week for me. Halfway through Hunter and Dad's first week. Dad decided to sleep in this morning, do a little relaxation, recuperation. Hunter and I came on a pretty long hike to a new basin, but it's not quite what we were hoping it would be. I think we spooked a deer or elk this morning. Not sure which one, but we're about to go on another adventure. It's gonna have us gaining a ton of elevation, but maybe we'll find something big and cool over there. Go around here and down through the bottom, up on the top of that, <clears throat> and then hike that ridge across.
Are we there yet? <laughs> so we're hiking up. Stopped to take a breath. <laughs> Glanced over and we found a deer. A buck. Smell great. It's got a bolt hole in it. Right in the shoulder there. Yep. yep. Right there. It almost looks like it was cut open. Probably tore open. Yeah. Well, we found a horse trail. Makes hiking up a little easier. And our guess that somebody was on this trail. Maybe. When they shot that guy. You know, he could have been in a different location and ran there and died, who knows. But crazy. Boy, it's pretty wild up here. Absolutely beautiful. Well, it's 4.52 p.m. on Tuesday. We've been working our way around this horseshoe basin, and uh, we just picked up a real nice buck. Um, unfortunately, it was... is now running the ridge back to where we were. There's a trail that comes down to those trees. I think we'll be able to make the shot from there over there, as long as the buck doesn't go too fast. As long as the buck doesn't go up and over that, he should be able to get a shot, as long as it comes out in the open. So, fingers crossed, he pulls it off. It'll be a very late night if he does. Very late night. If he does shoot, I'll be grabbing his pack and my pack and we'll be heading down to go find him. Howdy folks. So Hunter went back after that buck we saw, but it never came back out. And then we wanted to uh, head out before it got too, too dark because we needed to pass through and pretend like we were some sheep hunters. But. Uh, Just absolutely amazing. I know I keep saying that, but it's because it is. Oh, good morning, guys. 
It is Wednesday morning. We opted to go north of camp. Currently all three of us are together. Uh, we'll see if it stays that way or not, but... That big buck we saw last night, yesterday afternoon, he, uh, he's in a very difficult to get to spot, so I think for the time being he's going to stay safe. We're pressing on to see if we can't find one in a different location. Well, Hunter just spotted the first deer of the morning, but it was a long ways out and it just disappeared into the trees, so not sure what it was. The other way, it was a long ways out. So I couldn't hold back my inner adventurer anymore. We've been hunting down the mountain and there's a very obvious lake up in one of these high basins. It was midday, not much going on. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to come check out this lake. Almost there, Had a cool little creek with a waterfall coming out, kind of by the entrance. But take a look at this thing. That's just too unreal. Absolutely worth the climb up here. Man, that's awesome. Okay, so we set this area. We are now going to start slowly working our way back to camp. And fingers crossed, we come across one on our way back. I saw five deer. Couldn't tell what the first two were, but the last three were all does. I'm guessing they're all does because I've yet to see a buck with a doe. It's a little windy, so hopefully you can hear me. It is our last full day here, Thursday. We've gone back up and over our little saddle. And uh, yeah, we saw, I think it was like four doe yesterday. So we came back to this side. Hunter is currently trucking it across the hill. He's got a spike camera on his back. doesn't get anything. Pack up and head out. It's Thursday the 24th. I got camp on my back. I'm going to go in here where we saw the biggest buck. He's probably like a 170, 180. And I'm going to spend the night up in here and see if I can find him. Um, and then pack out tomorrow. We're packing up our main camp and then we're heading out of here. It's gnarly up here. I'm all set in. I'll show you what we got. Got the gun all set up, ready to go. Got some Skittles. Some water in a Gatorade bottle. Anyway. 
Anyways, those bucks this morning were right up there. So I'm just gonna hang out here and wait for them to come out. Um, it's 11.35. I'm guessing they're gonna get up a couple times in the afternoon to remove before they bed down again. But I don't expect to see them until probably about 6 o'clock or after that. It gets dark at about 7.45, but it seems like about 6 o'clock the deer start moving again. Uh, at least the bucks, I've noticed the does are moving around 5. So hopefully between 6 and 7.30 or something they'll step out. here. Oh. What is going on? I may uh, probably have to get them all packed up tonight, hang them up in these trees here. I got camp set up. And my brother will probably be here first thing in the morning. I'm sure he probably heard the shot. And uh, we'll bring him out in the morning. So I want to show you guys something I think is pretty cool. I saw those two bucks up there on the hill this morning. They, they walked off and bedded. And uh, so I got all set up. 450 yards. I got my stuff here. And then while they were bedded, I set up camp right here. So I'm literally only 20 yards from camp. Got a cool view here from camp. But, let's see. There he is laying right there. There's Buck, there's my camp. He came out of the timber about 4.30, which is a little earlier than I expected. He caught me off guard. That's why I didn't get a shot at him when he first passed through that opening, but when he came back, I, I had him. So, um, got three hours till dark. So I'll go up and bring him back down here to camp, get him hung up. Um, I don't have enough room in my pack to pack him out. <laughs> So I got the inReach. I'll get a hold of uh, my brother. Um, he'll he'll either come in first thing in the morning with an empty pack to get this guy out, or I'll have to figure out what to do. Either I'll load him on my on my back and then I'll just carry some of my stuff. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I'm way in here and I don't want to do two trips. That would really suck. From our base camp. Base camp's around 9,000 feet. I think I went up to 10-1 this morning just to get over the hill, and then I dropped back down to 9,300. So I don't really want to make two trips out of that. It didn't look this steep when I shot him. It never does, does it?
All right, I'll let you know when I get there. Well guys, awesome. He ain't the monster we were looking for. He's not the biggest mountain by on the, on the mountain, but last day, man, I'm happy. God is good. <clears throat> yeah. Sweet. Down there's where I shot from. Yep, yep. Yeah, oh man, I'm happy. Last day. Can't say I didn't try. Tried every day. Sweet. Yeah. All right, time to get him off this mountain. Man, what pretty views. Father God, thank you for a successful hunt. Thank you for um, a good clean shot, quick kill. Thank you for uh, the food that this buck will bring our family and friends and um, really keep me safe and uh, whoever shows up to help me out, keep them safe too as we take care of this guy and get him off the mountain. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you've given to me. In your holy name we pray. Amen. like the sun's starting to, it's weird, it looks. It always looks like the sun is setting and there's still a couple hours till dark. But it's funny because it's like, the sun starts setting and you start getting in a hurry. But it's like, yeah, I still got a couple hours. So that should be enough for me to at least get them to the bottom and then I'll probably get them taken care of down there. Cause I don't want to be making trips, bringing quarters up and down and or down and me coming up and yeah. All right, cool. Talk to you later. Back at camp. Some tents right in there. Anyways, I just got him off the mountain. He's right here. So got him back to camp. He was up there. Not no more. He's actually, uh, he, this is the smaller of the two I saw this morning, but the other one, his frame was about the same size. He just had way more mass. But you know what? This was the only one that stepped out, so I'm happy with him. A little tuckered out though. But I'll get him taken care of, hanging in the trees here, and get him out of here. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. Uh, I got my gloves on. See, for taking care of them so I don't get blood all over my sleeves and stuff. And then what I did was I grabbed the stuff I'm going to need. I grabbed uh, meat bags, rope, I got my knife, um, and that bag right there is my garbage bag. So that when I'm done with these, I can just peel them off and put them right into that. And that way I can put that in my pack and not get my pack all bloody. Um, so, yeah. Let's get started. So just got one of the best in-reach messages I've gotten in a while. Sounds like he's got a buck down, baby. Oh, great news. So we were hunting one ridge across from him, and the plan was if we heard a shot that uh, we'd turn on our in-reach and our radio to contact him. Uh, 
but I just randomly decided to turn the in reach on. It's what, five o'clock? Five forty one. Um and I got a line of texts from him and the last one said, Did you hear the shot? So I messaged him back and we've been sitting here for I don't know. Feels like twenty minutes, it's probably only been ten. But he finally messaged back. Um, after I messaged him to see if he got it, if he needed my help, and he said, so, dot, 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 I'm going to need your help. Yes! So. We're excited. Uh, we're going to come up with a plan now. Yeah. Um, get this yard sale. We're going to get this yard sale picked up and <laughs> figure it out. Yeah, I tend to make yard sales wherever I go. Uh, <laughs> pull absolutely everything out of my pack and just kind of leave it everywhere. So, we'll get this all ready to go, run up to the pass, I will ditch everything out of my pack, and I will hightail it for my brother to help pack this sucker out. <laughs> Alright, my pack is now virtually empty, Dad's pack is now loaded down. Yay! So, he's it's gonna... It's all downhill. <laughs> it is all downhill, so he's gonna drop off that back to camp. I'm gonna go... Up and over that mountain, once I go up and over that mountain, I got 1.4 miles to get to Hunter. He's got the deer back at camp. I do not have stuff to stay the night. We will make the decision if we're gonna stay the night or if we're gonna haul it out tonight. So uh, my guess is he said he had it back to camp and he was gonna start butchering it up. So by the time I get there, it should be all cut up and uh, we should be able to load it up and head out. So either way, we'll send dad an in reach to let him know what we're gonna do. Appreciate it. All right, love you. I'll see you yeah. tonight. Yeah, be careful. All right. Wise choices. Yep. Stay safe. All right, time to hightail it to Hunter. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, just got in contact with Hunter uh, and located him. He is down in the pasture trees down in the bottom there. So I'm gonna hightail down to him to help out. Check it out. I'm getting my trail running in. Yeah. I've been wanting to run these trails this whole time and now I have a reason. <laughs> Wee! I need to do this thing. All right, well, that's the group of trees he was standing at, and he said it was just downhill. I just saw a flash of orange. There he is. I know. I don't know if you can see him. But I sure can. Awesome. I was hoping I'd be able to make it to him before dark. Congratulations. Thank Ooh. you. Yeah, buddy. Nice four. Yeah! <laughs> Had a kid. Hey. Way to go. Last day, man. Last full day. Yeah. Gotta pack up first thing in the morning. Yep. Already. Oh. Go ahead. I'm done talking. Yeah. Oh, I already took care of the others. The four quarters are hanging. I got uh, back strap tenderloin in there, neck meat in there. I just got to grab this and this and the tenderloin, and I'm done. Awesome. Here, what a sweet little buck, man. Nice. Oh, you made it here pretty quick. Well, I hauled butt up the hill. As soon as I found you, uh, I skied down the slope, basically straight down. Oh boy, yeah. And then as soon as I hit the flat, I hit that trail, and my inner trail runner took over. Oh, yeah. And I ran the rest of the way here. And it was awesome. I've been wanting to run on these trails the whole time we've been here. Oh, that is awesome. I saw him this morning. He's, he's the smaller of the two, but I was like, he's the only one that came out this evening, so. 
What time did you shoot him? 406. No. First time he came out was 406 and I turned the video camera on. And by the time the camera turned on, he vanished out of ah. out of my shooting plane. No. And, but I didn't see him until he was halfway through it because it was like yeah. 406. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. I was like playing Sudoku and, <laughs> you know, eating Skittles. And, and then uh, so I got ready because... He didn't come out the one side, so I was just waiting, and he popped his head back out on this side, so I got the camera ready, and he stepped out. Boom! Nice. So were you sitting right here? I was laying right there. Oh, oh you can see where I was I laying. I can see your trench. <laughs> and it's a little dark on the camera, but that is hilarious. Yeah, it's too I dark. I don't have a light, but you guys can't see it, but right here is just like a dirt swath of a six-foot-nine guy laying down. Huh. I got camp set up right there. Camp. Really hard to see, but Hunter's plan was to spike out and stay the night tonight and hunt first thing in the morning. Finish off his hunt solo, but looks like he found a reason for me to come have a little bit of fun with him. Thanks for coming. Oh, that's what I was born to do. Training for get that training to use that trail running. Yeah. Well, why don't you? Uh, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. Thank you. That's too cool. So, what do you want to do? You want to go out tonight? You want to stay the night? Um, so I don't have anything to stay tonight. I did bring two coats just in case, but I would lean towards I'm fine with going back. Out. I'm fine with holding them out. It's going to be by headlamp. Oh yeah, yeah, that's... So if that's the case, would you mind taking down my tent? Sure. While I finish this up? Okay. Did you get some good pictures? Of camp? No, of the deer. Oh, I got a couple up on the hill. Okay. Yeah. I got my buck, and uh, we're packing it out, and we thought we'd take a minute to tell you some tips that we learned during our trip so I'll start lots of luco tape <laughs> my feet are hammered <laughs> cots don't work very good in a Cimarron <laughs> stoves inside those Cimarrons are amazing when oh, yeah. it's snowing and you need, hailing need a stove you gotta be able to shoot at least like 500 yards. This is big country. The elevation is a whole lot worse than you think it would be. Yeah. Come prepared to hike and not be able to breathe. When you hear thunder, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a fact. Uh, By the time you hear it, it's there. <laughs> uh, Can't escape that one. No. Nope. Hunt big country, be sure to bring a packer with you. Yeah. Makes it a little easier. Yeah, when they're named Chase, they work better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't have got this out by myself. Thanks, Chase. Oh, you could have. You just... No. Nope. <laughs> You'd have been laying over the I'd horse just, tomorrow. <laughs> I just rolled over. So... If you're sharing a tent with another guy... Don't pee in a bottle without him knowing you're gonna do it. <laughs> don't, don't surprise don't a guy. Su don't surprise him with that. <laughs> it's it quite may, something to wake up to. May, in the it may cause you to miss the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there's two kinds of Big Dippers in North Stars. There's one over there, there's one over there. I got on the wrong one. <laughs> I couldn't figure why the sun was coming up in the west. <laughs> Blew my mind. <clears throat> if you plan on filtering water out of stagnant ponds, don't. It's all sheet poop. Yeah, don't plan on a don't plan on a pond. <laughs> Take the time to find the stream. Take, it's worth it. Oh yeah. Honey! 
we were home. Look at that. Nice little fire going. Yeah. Oh. Have to do something to pass the time. Sorry, bright light. Yeah, that is really bright. I can get your bright light back. <laughs> Got one. I hear that. Holy nice one. I need to get this thing off. Yeah, you... yeah buddy. Woo. Yeah. Nice. And took less than two and a half hours to get back. Dun, dun, dun. But now we can eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> Tenderloins are boiling. Oh, huh? There's some finished ones. And they're delicious.